guys, Hannah Reef Freak here. So today we're going to be talking about the blood orange clownfish. Uh, so we're kind of far away from the tank, so I'll have to throw up a little clip here just so you can see. Our blood orange clownfish here is named Mocha, and Mocha is pretty interesting, and there's some things that I didn't even know about blood orange clownfish before I got one, uh, and now it's going to be interesting having one in the tank. So blood orange clownfish are actually a crossbreed between a maroon clown and an ocellaris clownfish. Now I've had ocellaris clownfish before, and they usually get about two to three inches in, in length, uh, and the maroon clownfish being crossbred with the ocellaris clownfish, it's gonna allow the blood orange clownfish to reach a maximum size of up to six inches, just like a maroon clown. So that's a pretty big fish. Uh, they recommend at least a 30 gallon tank. This is a 25 gallon, so I think we're gonna be okay because we're only looking to add a couple more tank mates. Um, I would love to have a community tank, but the blood orange clownfish is a little bit more aggressive than your average ocellaris clownfish. To clarify, the blood orange clownfish is somewhere in the middle of an ocellaris clownfish and a maroon clownfish. So the aggression level is going to be about somewhere right in the middle of there. They're not going to be as aggressive as a maroon, uh, but they might be as, uh, you know, as non-aggressive as an ocellaris clownfish, or they might be somewhere in the middle. So really fish, fish aggression is kind of uh, you know, defined many ways, you know, we might have this blood orange clown and she might not pick on anybody, uh, but you might get a blood orange clown fish and they might be very aggressive. So just be really careful getting this um, fish for your tank, especially if you have a community tank. Now, a blood orange clown fish will uh, host an anemone just like any other clown fish would. So this clown fish will host, you know, a bubble anemone, a long tip anemone, um, anything like that. Uh, so we're hoping to get an anemone at some point just so she has like a place to call her, her own. She's not picking on the other tank mates as much. Um, hopefully, you know, that will let her host the anemone and just kind of have her space there. And we're hoping to eventually get another blood orange clown so they can have like a pairing uh, and everything like that. Um, I think that would look really good in this tank. Personally, I think this blood orange clown is going to be more aggressive uh, to smaller tank mates when they're bigger. So. You know, based on what I've seen so far, I think the blood orange clown aggression is going to be based, uh, you know, relative to the size of its tank mate. So if the blood orange clown is small, it will probably be fine with smaller tank mates at that time, like gobies and things like that. But if this blood orange clownfish gets big, you know, let's say they're four or five inches long, uh, your tank mates by then might need to be something like yellow tanks, you know, slightly more aggressive fish, or maybe uh, if they are smaller fish, maybe more aggressive smaller fish like damsels or something like that. So as this clown ages, we'll probably either have to have less fish in this size tank or fish that are just a little bit bigger that can kind of hold their own against a blood orange clown fish. Um, but that's all based off my speculation. So I'm hoping to do an update video, uh, you know, in the future comparing the blood orange clown, uh, you know, my thoughts now versus how it actually is in the future. Because for all we know, this blood orange clown might be very docile uh, or she might be really aggressive. We really don't know. Um, but this has been, you know, everything I know about blood orange clownfish. Uh, I can obviously put the uh, statistics for the blood orange clownfish on the screen, but just some additional details are that the blood orange clownfish is, uh, is bred by ORA. So they breed them, you know, like I said, with a maroon clown and an ocellaris clownfish. Um, and I think they were brought into the trade probably about seven or eight years ago when they were really popular. Um, so hopefully this has given you guys some insight on the blood orange clownfish. So if you see one in your local fish store, uh, you know what you're looking at and uh, you know what you're getting yourself into because I uh, I used to have a maroon clown. I love my maroon clownfish. It was probably my favorite clownfish of all time. Uh, but at the same time, it was a little difficult having a maroon clown because they are a little more aggressive. Uh, and maybe I can talk about that and those experiences in the future. Um, but I just want to say thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate your views and uh, hope to keep uh, more videos coming to the channel.